Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.com. Just getting myself set up. Sorry about that. <laughs> think I'm about just turn all the noises off here. Turn the volume off all my other devices. So I'm just wait I'm just giving you a chance to get in and uh, see who's going to come and join me. Um I absolutely was in stitches because I've just been watching Ruth on from Artful Stamping. Hi Randy and you come. I've just been watching Ruth on Artful Stamping um, while I was crafting at my desk and what I was doing was using up the Sea of Silhouette paper because some time ago I made this flower. I actually had used the dye from our new tropical set but I thought that it would be quite good to use up I wanted to use up this the same paper that I used for that one but I thought there must be an easier way so that I could do it in bulk so I'm really quite upset that the starburst punch is going um, so I've decided to use it I have already tried with our bigger circle die as well which so I'm going to show you how I made this I've not got a fin hi Tammy and you come um, I've not got a plan for a finished project at the moment all I'm just coming on was just to craft and share with you the process here so I punched out some circles with the starburst uh, if you don't have this it nests it layers really nicely with the two inch punch for lots of things hi Karen and you come I, I'm really upset that they are retiring this one just now, but I won't be getting rid of it. It'll be staying with me for a long time. Anywho, let, so basically I've got this amount of this paper left from this pack. Um, and of course this paper is retiring. So I've decided to use it up for more. And what I'm going, I, I've got a sort of idea of what I might do with them, but I don't know. I've got a canvas which I use some time ago with um, the sprinkles which it is in fact it might have been brushes but so I'm just crunching out quite an amount of circles I'm keeping those scraps because I might use them for something else so whoops Hi Ruth, I know I was, I, I, I can't believe that you know, you and I have not actually face to face talked or messaged with each other and you came on with your circles and I was sitting playing with exactly the same thing. So I just, I was finishing off a 3D, another 3D project that I'm doing for a blog hop, obviously I can't show anyone that one. I was planning to do these tomorrow but I just thought it was such a coincidence that you and I were playing with exactly the same thing. Now my plan is something completely different to what you were doing. And it just shows the versatility of all this, um, our products with Stampin' Up. That they can be used for so many different things. I like the blue as well. So let's just fire out a few more so that I can... can whoops! I can clear. I, I wasn't actually planning to go live just now because I was thinking it was maybe time to be making some dinner. But my hubby ha is ensconced watching a western film and he's quite happy. Says he's not really hungry just now. So I thought, well, why not just come and share this? We'll get a few from this one as well. Whoops. And I'm kind of mourning the loss of the Starburst punch because it is retiring. So seriously, if you do not have this punch, get it. <laughs> Don't delay. 
just get it. Right, I think that's enough circles to demonstrate. As I say, there isn't a finished product today at this just because I haven't got that far ahead in my thoughts. So it's basically just to make these 3D flowers. So, so you can see that holds its shape no matter what. So let's just show you what we do here. So we just get, I'm using a plastic, I've laminated this uh, paper to protect. So I'm just going to spread these out. I don't know if I've already done a video showing this before. But I usually do these in bulk. Normally I let them, it takes a few days to get to. We'll just let's just right we'll spread them out and then we take a what spread a spritzer basically and we wet them. Now our designer series paper is good it can soak up so I'm just basically going over them all and spritzing them. Some of your big ah! already. Oh, don't tell me my phone. It's my phone. Sorry, it needs power. Give me a moment. I'll be there in a moment. Are we okay? Oh. Are we all right now? I forgot to put the power cable in. There's always something with me. Oh, hi, Shirley. I don't know. I'll stop for a minute and say hello because I think I missed a few people coming in. So let me just go back and say hello to everybody. Hi, Randy, Tammy, Karen, Ruth, Esther, Shirley, Melanie, hiya. Karen, Gina, hi, Gina. And I've said hi to Shirley, Julie, Judy Lynn, and you come. So as I say, I'm just doing some, basically, wetting my paper. I've punched it out with my punch and I'm just giving it a good old soak. Letting that water just soak in. So again, this is messy play. Love it. Judy Lynn, I don't know if we've met before. Have we met before? turning them over and giving them a bit more wet they're still a bit on the dry side let them soak up the water I don't know if I recognize your name Judy Lynn Oh, it's empty. The only these spritzers are really nice and fine, but they don't hold a, an awful lot of water. But I was ready for that, and I did bring. Always remember to protect your work surface, though, if you're working with water, because if you're anything like me, you're going to spill it. But that's okay, because some t this is needing to soak up a fair bit, so a bit more spritzing over it, and then we'll go with it. So that's why I would do a big batch all at once. My desk is a mess so it was as well to just do. So then I'm just going to take each one and screw it up in my hand. So you're all hearing me again. Are you all seeing me? Yes, yeah, make you nervous surely. You've got to screw them all up while they're wet. They're not wet enough though really. Look, where's the spritz? Some of them are. Oops. Don't spray the wrong direction. <laughs> I can't show you the whole process because I, I kind of leave them to dry overnight after. So basically you scrunch them up in your hand. Roll them about. Not rough, but not too rough because you don't want them to tear. I 
I just spritz them and let the water soak in. Yeah. You want a decent amount of water, but not too much, and that's why I just stick with the spritzer. And it's, I mean, obviously, if you were in your kitchen or somewhere, you maybe could just put them in the bottom of a basin or something, but the spritzer works fine. Some of them are still not really wet enough, though. Maybe if you've got a plant sprayer or something to hand, it might give you just a bit more water, but let's see. These ones are wetter, so... As I say, they need to be wet, but not, I don't know. You'll, you'll know yourself once you start. You don't want them to crumple. To, you don't want them to sort of fall apart. It just shows you the good quality of our paper, though, you know. Hi, Sophia. Nice to see you. Sophia, can you confirm to me, are you Forest Crafts? My memory is not awful good today. I don't want to get you muddled up, but I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that Sophia is Forest Crafts. And so Sophia's, thanks Sophia, Sophia has, is um, quite a new demonstrator but she has taken the plunge and she's got her own YouTube uh, channel and she's got a two or three videos up there now um, so basically look I'm just making a mess here rolling the do you remember when you at school and you used to get tissue paper and you used to roll it into balls scrumple it up yeah if you if you have a look at obviously after this video um, Sophia is forest crafts it would be nice to give her a bit of support and also one of my own team ladies has just yesterday published her first YouTube video and she just put it online yesterday Caroline Tom um, if you're in my Jazzle Dazzle and Friends group I did ask yesterday if you would check her out and give her a bit of love and support it's great to help each other to get noticed and a bit of encouragement. So if any of my friends that are on here today, if you don't mind checking out Forest Crafts or Caroline Tom. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. Thanks, Tammy. So what mess I'm making, yeah? Hi Lorna! I know I'm making a mess Lorna as usual. All will be revealed. So I just punched out with the starburst punch. Whoops. It's a bit hard to pick them up but yeah sometimes it's maybe worth giving them the whole lot of spritz and then going and making a cup of tea or something. Right Caroline Tom. Caroline Tom it's T-H-O-M. It's a big thing to start doing your YouTube tutorials. Huge big thing. So I've, I've screwed all these up and then I'm going to just gently unravel but not flatten out. So kind of just leave them. It, it's a big thing. Some people just never manage to pluck up the courage. And I had suggested to my team that they can just do it privately with Facebook or something at first. Um, and Caroline did try one on Facebook and then she just published it to YouTube. She just took a deep breath and did it. And I think it's fantastic and I think she's got a lovely style. So has Sophia of Forest Crafts. As I say, she, she's not my team but... Um, she has a fairly new demonstrator as well. So it's good, you know, to help each other to get noticed. So it's just unravel them, leave them scrunched. 
a bit. You want some of them to be tighter than others. You can re, you know, you can change the direction of the scrunching. You could learn now. You just. It, it's all about um, being willing to share your mistakes. I think he's that, well, you know, there are people who think they're perfect, but none of us are actually perfect. And I'm sure there are people that look at my videos and then not come back because they think I'm completely bonkers, which, well, probably I am. But you, you find people that you like their style or you can see what they do and it inspires you to do sometimes something different but so I'm just slowly unraveling them all and not flattening them I'm leaving them so I've I've been um I was sit we had quite a sunny afternoon here in Scotland, well in central Scotland anyway and I've been sitting out reading my book which was quite nice, just chilling a wee bit and then I had come up and I'd started working on these when Ruth came on and so I watched her live. I just thought it was absolutely hilarious that we were working with much the same thing, the same paper and the same tools it's just I had I haven't really used this paper enough. I don't know why. You could just absolutely I would use um not any of the speci probably not the speciality papers, just our normal good quality designer series paper. Because it's double sided as well, and because usually if you stick with a pack, you'll find that the colours kind of coordinate together coordinate that's my favorite word to use to describe stamping up that's what i find loved about it that's why i joined it's because everything coordinates now our new catalog is due out at the beginning of june and we're, we're kind the retiral list has been announced and as i say the punches that i'm using to make these flowers which are the where has it gone? I've lost it. The starburst punch. I'm going to do some leaves and I'm going to use the leaf punch, which is retiring too. I'm really upset about that as well. And I will probably use my half inch punch again. This is going and that makes good centres and I quite like this punching out our glimmer paper. Exactly, Sophia. And some some demonstrators have got their own style. I'm, do you know, five years, well, four and a half years and I'm still trying to find my style. I try lots of different things. I just have a go. Although people can't do say that they, well, local people know that they can, they sort of can see a card and think it's mine, but I don't know. In case people, I'm inspired by people I see something and I have a go make it mine or sometimes I just case them exactly what they've done so I've nearly unraveled all of these it is the glimmer paper oh is it are we not is it going to And sometimes, Gina, it's nice just to see something that's different to what you would normally do. So these, really what I would normally do here is leave these to dry overnight. But what I'll do is just, just now, I'll bring my, um, I'm going to move these off my table because they will get mostly left on there to dry. But what I'll do is... I'm bringing one, two, 
whoops, three of the blue ones, so we'll have a coordinated blue flower. I'm going to give them a bit of a dry with the heat tool. So if you want to turn your sound down for a moment or two till I give these a bit of a blast, I don't want to hurt you. So basically, they're all slight scrunched to different, this, these are not properly dry so I don't know how well they'll hold but just to give you a clue, I can always maybe come back on tomorrow when the rest are, so I just basically, I can just still scrunch them up a bit more as I go, I'll leave all the wee extra folds and then the middle one I would scrunch it tighter. And I'll put quite a dollop of glue in there and then just slightly unravel it and stick it on. Now again you can do this with all the same size of circle or you can you can use different sizes. You could have smaller ones in the middle. So as I say, this was my, this was my original flower. Here's one that I did with, that's not quite dry, but I kind of put that together. That's the two and a quarter inch circle punch, just all three are the same. But, but I like the, the sort of serrated finish with the starburst one. So as I say, and then I would just get a piece of glimmer paper, if I have any. Where are you hiding from me? I do have some, I just, it's hiding. Here it is. So what we've, oh, we've got a, a bit of gold here. And my little... I had it a minute ago, I showed you. My little half inch. And I don't know if you can see, see when it's dry, it's really quite strong. It's almost like paper mache because um, so there so we then pop a, a dollop of a big dollop of glue in the center and I can stick my wee half inch flower center so it's got a nice whoops This one I hadn't glued it together, so let's give it a bit of a glue. I mean, you could cut out flower shapes. I think, you know, like the our poppy set, you could use that flower shape. And previous this one, I did use, I did this a, a few months ago and then never went back to this. I, I cut out the, the large flower from the tropical. Oh, for goodness sake, what's it called? The one that's got the wee frangipani flower in and the hibiscus, so it was the shape for cutting out the hibiscus shape. Do you see what I mean? You're not going to get two flowers the same. And then for the leaves, because I'm mourning the loss of this punch, and I thought, again, here's another paper that I, I think is beautiful, but I haven't made enough use of it. But luckily for me, there's there's another green one coming in the new catalogue, so maybe I'll make more use of it. I think I have. So again, I just punch out a few. Could have done this when I was punching out the flowers, but it's me. It's me. So again, you would do a whole lot if you're doing a batch. You know, you would just punch out loads. Whoops. And again. We'll get the protective mat where all my, fl all my flower layers are drying. We'll just use a corner of that. Does anybody know where I put the spritzer? Yes, there's still water in it. So let's spread these out so that they wet quicker.
Oh, you can't go home, Tammy. You need to stay with us in Scotland. What would we do without you? So again, the leaves just the same thing. Just scrunch them up. Bit more carefully with the leaves. He's obviously they are slightly de delicate. See you later, Shirley. I'll still be here tomorrow. You can watch the whole process if you want. So again, just scrunch them up. And then again, I've got the silicone mat, put them on the silicone mat, open them up. It's just a different way to give them texture. You do have to be very careful with these. I'll leave these ones for later. Really, Tammy? Sometimes I, I mean, it, Scotland is beautiful. Sometimes I despair of our weather. It's so, much, it's so changeable. Right, so I've unraveled the leaves. Oops. And then I'll just give them a quick blast. I think they might be dry enough to just show you. Oops. So again, you can just glue them. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to stick because it's all still a bit damp here. But once that dries, they will be stiff and they will hold their shape. Oh, enjoy your dinner in the garden, Lorna. That's fab. All right, right, okay, so your ancestors come from Broughty Ferry. Oh, wow, I like up that way. It can be colder than here right enough, but... So again, I'm just... You can just build up your leaves however you want to. This is not playing with me today. Now, I actually think you could make a nice brooch. You could make a paper brooch, but I did have out... I didn't have out a box frame so I was thinking of some kind of project in a box frame. I don't know where did the other blue one go to? so I don't really know where I'm going with this but and I might but Oh, thanks. It's all about him, 777. 
Well, if you've got the punch, just go for it, yeah. I would suggest that once you've unraveled them when they're damp, is actually just leave them overnight. I used the heat tool just simply so that I could demonstrate to you. Um, and I've just realised that I'm advertising a company. But, do you know, a box frame that you can buy in any craft store or Swedish furniture store when they're open again in the UK. Um, I usually keep a stock of them here. So that that's me really was just to show you about the flowers. I'd be interested, yeah, we could put that on a on a brooch back would be quite nice, wouldn't it? You can buy the back back for a brooch online for, for pennies. And that I'm going to use up the rest of that designer series paper and make a pile of these flowers. Again, on a card, a special card, they work really well. So that was, where we got, what have we used? The leaf punch, the starburst punch, and my little half inch punch. Now these are these punches are all retiring so if you do want to have them if you don't have them get them ordered up now the link to my online shop will be in the description below Esther. So anyway, thanks everyone for coming and watching what I was getting up to. Just wanted to share and um, probably another day I'll come on and show you what, what I do with them. Or maybe not. Sometimes I never finish projects in about two years time or something. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much everybody. Well, I'm just going to go now and maybe go and make some dinner and maybe see you tomorrow i might actually come on tomorrow and let you have a wee quick look at the the finished pile of them made up into flowers thanks so much for your patience don't forget to subscribe and oh ruth thunder and lightning oh my goodness the weather is changing this next few days yeah, we do need to have a finishing project session. I've got quite a few bits and pieces that are not finished. I need I need some encouragement to finish them. I'm too um I think, you know, I'm I I do come under the star sign Gemini, so I'm a bit of a a butterfly. So once I know how something works, that's me, I'm on to something else. Lorna, is he calling me to come for dinner too? <laughs> Anyway, I'm gib gibbering and blethering, but that, you know, a good blether, that's what we need. S take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening or whatever else you're doing on Saturday. Thank you. Bye bye.